The idea for the Palace of Auburn Hills developed gradually through careful examination of the entertainment industry. What began merely as wishful thinking was brought into being by Pistons owner Bill Davidson, along with developers Bob Sosnick and David Hermelin. These three put together a task force that was given the responsibility of bringing the metropolitan Detroit area a unique, world-class entertainment center. Upon groundbreaking a little over two years ago, some questioned the need for another arena in the marketplace. Now that the palace has been up and running since August, many are wondering what the area ever did without it. The truth of the matter is, the palace is not just another arena. By now, we've all heard of the many unique features of the building, the suites, the acoustics, the great sight lines, but the palace is much more than that. The palace is an entire entertainment concept that was built and is managed with the customer in mind. And from the moment a ticket holder enters the palace grounds, they can expect the most courteous service in the most comfortable surroundings. Everything regarding the design of the building was taken into consideration. Led by award-winning architect Gino Rossetti, the palace was to be developed as the entertainment center of the 21st century. With the design and concept of the building intact, the only other mission was to fill the venue with expectant fans. Enter the Detroit Pistons, one of the most successful franchises in professional sports. And for the first time in the club's 32 years in Detroit, they will finally be playing in an arena that they can call their very own. But the excitement doesn't stop there. In just over three months, the Palace has played host to some of the most legendary names in the entertainment industry. All in all, the Palace is about as complete a package as one could ever hope for. It was designed to be a world-class premier facility, and it has become just that. The Palace of Auburn Hills, where the dream of tomorrow meets the reality of today.